Hey YouTube, in the interest of autism science I guess, I'm going to try to trigger my sensory defensiveness by doing one of those online hearing test things on YouTube. So it's going to be one of those things where it starts really low and just the pitch goes up and up and up and I'm not going to watch the screen because if I see the numbers going up I'll start to anticipate and I will not have a genuine reaction. So I picked one that I have not used before and I'm going to play it and I'm just going to see what happens. I have no idea what kind of a reaction I'm going to have or what it's going to look like. I just know that I will. And I could have an explosive meltdown. I may not. I don't know. But I will probably do everything to not scream if I do because, you know, I don't want my parents running in here. Oh my gosh, are you okay? So, yeah. So, in the interest of science and audiology or whatever, here we go. It's going to start at a low frequency, and I have my camera away so that you may not get blasted by the sound, but you might still hear it. I don't know. My camera speaker is very weird about sound. It may, it may scramble a noise I make, and then it'll hear like a little scraping really far away, so I don't know. But, okay, the video's going. It's kind of below what I can hear right now. And I'm not holding anything because if I freak, I might throw whatever I'm holding, and I don't want to throw my tangle on the ground and break it. So I am just just chilling like a villain, although I'm not really a villain, I don't think. I'm starting to hear it. Very low. Very low pitch. It's the same volume all the way through, but it will seem like it gets louder to me. I don't know, maybe to you too? I don't know. But... Why are you just random stimming? I'm not looking at the screen. Can you hear it on camera? I don't know. I don't know if you can. I can. I can hear it. It's there. It seems like it's getting quiet, but it's going to get loud, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, it's starting to sound really loud to me. It's starting to sound really loud to me. Now it's starting to get a little painful, a little bit more irritating than pain. Now I'm starting to feel like there's pressure just pushing in on my brain. Like in my skull. I feel like it's pushing inside of my ears. Like there's something sharp going in like this into my ears. And it's just getting more and more intense. And now it's really starting to feels really loud. Oh. It got soft again, but now it's getting loud again to me. Okay, now it's starting to, now here comes the drill in here. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Yeah, I just want to, I'm not trying not to do that. Oh, I hate this. I hate this thing. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I hate this. I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. No. Done apparently because the sound stopped. My ears quit hurting, and I just beat the crap out of myself. Yeah, I did meltdown. That was an explosive. It was a little explosive meltdown, but it was a meltdown because I lost control. Because I went from just barely hitting and I hit myself really hard. And that hurts. I hit myself right here on my knees. Good thing I'm wearing leggings today. If I was wearing shorts, that would really out. Still hurts. I would take my pants down to see if I made my legs red, but I don't want to show my underwear on YouTube. Okay, that was the audio test, and now it's not fun. Sensory defensiveness is not a joke. It's not, you know, an autistic person. It's just trying to sense it, sensationally defend themselves from a thing like that in a world they can't control. I could have reached over and turned that off any time and I knew that. So that's probably why my reaction was not as violent as it would have been if maybe somebody was sitting there saying, no, you can't turn it off. Because I had the choice the whole time. So that kind of mucked up the experiment a little bit. But at the same time, I resisted turning it off so that I could just show a reaction. And it was real, you know, I was in a lot of pain, and it just, it started out feeling kind of like just pressure into my ears, and then it just kind of, it just felt like the vibration was getting more and more intense and sharp, so it was like it was narrowing and pushing further in, and then it was just, pain was just shooting, like, in a wave like this, from my ears around to my face, like around my head, like shockwaves, like someone throwing pebbles in a pond. And the ripples were just going. The ripples of pain was just going across my head. And and I did have a meltdown because I couldn't take it anymore. But like I said, it was a very small meltdown. You know, small meltdown. For me, that was small. Because I managed to not scream. You just look at the big one, I'm going to scream. I can't control the scream. But I did sib. It's, you know, self injurious behavior. I hit myself and it did not feel very good. I did not anticipate that. I should have put a pillow in my lap because my knees, ow, I probably really gave us some bruises. But, um, you know, sensory issues are not a joke. And, you know, look at how tired I am. I mean, because I was, you know, 
tensing up to withstand that and you know an autistic person being in a really high sensory environment if you're a hypersensitive person you know it's very tiring it's very tiring where someone who's hypo sensitive might be energized by that but even that was just so so if your autistic kid freaks out when they hear the dentist drill that's why and I really don't know how to make the noise not hurt because you can't not drill you know it's got to happen then sometimes and but you know someone says please don't jingle coins in your pocket please don't jingle your keys please respect that because when you're jingling keys or coins I'm not gonna hear anything you say if you're talking to me because all I can hear is you know tickle 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 jingle my necklace doesn't bother me this doesn't bother me much because you know I'm triggering the noise but when I can't predict it oh that's when it's painful so anyway sensory defensiveness that's what it is it sucks it doesn't feel good it's not fun so yeah respect it please